Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey. The Asset Store is full of awesome tools and assets to help you make your own games. There's more and more awesome stuff coming out every month, so in this video, let's check out some of the highlights for November 2021. In this first video, I will be covering a list of free assets, and in the next ones, I will be covering paid assets and tools. Check out the full playlist to see all of the highlights every month. You might find something that would be perfect for whatever project you're currently working on. Let me know in the comments if you pick up any of these and what you intend to do with them. Also, right now, Unity is having a massive Black Friday sale. For these free assets, naturally that doesn't matter, but if there's any paid assets you've been waiting for, then this is your best chance. All of the best assets are currently discounted, everything from tools, models, animations, effects, and just about anything. Check it out with the link in the description. Alright, so starting off with actually one that is simultaneously free and not. So this is a shader pack with tons of shaders, over 180 effects, works on all of the render pipelines. Now the thing is, this one is all based on the Amplify Shader Editor, and if you do own that, then it's completely free. The Amplify Shader Editor, it's an editor kind of like Shadograph and has existed for many many years. This asset has been part of quite a lot of previous bundles and sales, so chances are you already have it. And if you do, you can go into this store page and you can get all of these really awesome effects all completely for free. Now for the rest of this list, everything is completely free, so for example, here's a really nice spin blur. It does exactly what it says, applies a blur to moving objects. It looks really excellent when applied to swords or tires. The comparison video is really excellent at showcasing the massive difference it makes, so it's one of those things that it really helps add that extra bit of polish to make your games really stand out. Next up, here's some really good looking liquid simulation. It really looks very impressive, works on both URP and AGRP. Now this one is the free version, but there's also a paid version. The free limitations are based on number of collisions and limited number of emitters, but if you have just a simple use case, then the free version might be enough. Next up, here's a pack with some great stylized textures. Features 20 unique materials. They include all kinds of maps, color maps, roughness, AO. And all textures are in 2K, so pretty high resolution. So great simple pack if you need a bunch of high quality free textures. Then if you need a vehicle for your game, here's a police car. It's a great model, slightly low poly but not too much, personally I think it looks great. Also includes an interior and separated parts, so the body, doors, wheels and the steering wheel all separated so you can easily animate them. So this could be great for a racing game or maybe something open world kind of like GTA. And if you like this style then this developer has tons more vehicles. Then if you're working on a game with a cute art style and you need some UI, here's a great one. Features 40 icons, a bunch of buttons, and a nice wallpaper. If you like the style, then there's also a paid pack with many more items and objects. Then here's a really fun one, a low poly training dummy. Looks really nice, and it even comes with two animations, die and fall down. So this one could be great for adding to a training scene in some sort of action game. Then here's an interesting tool to generate ropes. You place down a plane, then select some objects, and it generates a rope around those objects. It's dynamically generated, so you can even move it and play around the visual. Definitely a niche tool, but if you need some ropes, then here it is. Then if you're working in 2D, here's a pack with a bunch of weapons, both melee and shooting weapons. They look pretty good, nice cartoony textures, so you could use this for example with the 2D aiming system that I covered previously. And lastly, here's a nice free pack with a bunch of modular armor pieces. Personally, I've got some paid packs from this developer, I quite like the style, it's low poly but not too low poly. This free pack comes with a bunch of characters and 6 modular armor sets. Alright, so those are my top 10 free new assets on the Unity Asset Store for November 2021. There's links to all in the description, stay tuned for the next video covering paid assets and tools, there's lots of awesome stuff there. Check out the full playlist to see some more lists with free and paid assets and let me know if you pick up any of these and what you intend to do with them. Also check out my own free and paid assets on the store. Alright, hope that's useful, check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.